Hello viewers, and welcome to Team Blue Star's final presentation of Manager Store at Pro Water Sports Company. Our team consists of six individuals who all strive for success. During this project, we maintained a strong worth ethic and kept each other positive. We each contributed to the project equally by splitting up the project when it comes to completing the charter, milestones, and creating episodes. As a team, we all communicated efficiently and shared our own ideas while developing a TV show we were all proud to say was ours. We felt truly blessed to be a member of Team A-Stars and hope everyone enjoys our TV show. The ambition for Manager Shore derived from the importance of understanding and establishing management concepts within a workplace. The target audience were teachers and students enrolled within management courses. For this TV show, we focused on many different managerial concepts. For episode one, the leader role, directing and planning. Episode two, organization and management skills. Episode three, communication and dealing with conflict. Episode four, motivation. Episode five, integrity and negotiation. Episode six, ethics and ethical decision making. And lastly, the last episode we wrapped everything up by stating the importance of the managerial concepts to create an effective and positive work environment where not only employees can succeed, but a place that will be successful and positive. The setting of Manager Shore takes place within a water sports store in St. Petersburg, Florida. The goal of this company is to provide extraordinary customer service and it is ran by the general manager, Jimmy. Unfortunately, there's a problem that arises when Jimmy must leave due to a sudden emergency and Jimmy appoints the assistant manager, Sally, to maintain the store at his degree until he comes back. If Sally would have reflected on certain management concepts, the problem that arose could have been avoided or at the very least mitigated. The background of Manager Shore was conjured by basing the characters and setting from an MTV reality show known as Jersey Shore. Each character is like an instrument in an orchestra, all having a role based on a variety of personalities and professionalism. Now to introduce the characters. Jimmy is the general manager who is compassionate about pro water sports and towards his employees. He has worked for the company since he was 16 years old and has a very proactive management style. He's very understanding, possesses great leadership skills, as well as many managerial skills that a manager should carry. He is a devoted husband and a dad of two. Later in the show, he must make an ethical decision. Sally, the assistant manager who lacks essential management skills, is too lenient. Her management style is very laid back, which brings her in trouble when the show comes to an incident. After the incident takes place, she notices that she needs to work on her skills and become a better manager. Nicole is an employee at Pro Water Sports who is in charge of the snack stand. She is very positive, loyal, and a dedicated employee. She is also known to be a whistleblower, meaning she is someone who discloses illegal or unethical conduct based on the company. Jenny is an employee as well who works at the snack stand with Nicole. Jenny is very reliable to the company, but is known to be a pushover and is impatient. However, she is able to look at situations in multiple ways, which gives her the title of a thinker. Jenny is also trustworthy, which is an important trait to possess as an employee. Mike is in charge of the jet skis. He is known as the situation who brings an actual situation to pro water sports. He steals money to pay back his friend Vinny due to an expensive night out. He is very unorganized, blinded by money, selfish, and test managers on the concept of controlling as one of the functions within management. Paulie is in charge of the paddle boards. He is known as the hard worker. He is reliable, trustworthy, and his hair is always done to perfection. Polly also has great customer service due to his exceptional interpersonal skills, which is a key capability to accomplish as a, for a company's goal. The bulk of the concepts that were demonstrated for the creation of this project were group pairing and exchanging ideas, voting and agreeing on storyboards, delivering a project charter, create and attach business concepts with episodes, and lastly, write and record each episode. In this episode, we discover that honesty and integrity creates trustworthiness. Mike lacks the ability to show that he is trustworthy, which plays a toll in regards to his personal integrity. A person with integrity is someone whose word can be relied upon on a consistent basis and who is highly likely a person of their word. Mike proves to the group that he cannot be trusted by his actions. An employee without integrity cannot be trusted by his colleagues, bosses, or the public, and inevitably that will lead to problems within the workplace. Once Mike comes forward and attempts to explain what he did, he attempts to create a version of conflict resolution and negotiate his way into an agreement with the other employees to withhold information that will get him in trouble. Mike tries to start a process of conferring to arrive at an agreement between multiple parties, but each has its own interests and preferences. 
all of the employees are involved and seem emotionally invested in the outcome. I know what I did was wrong, and I'm sorry for what I did. But guys can you help me out by not telling Sally and Jimmy about this? Mike, I don't agree with you. Polly and Jenny are trying to help you by doing the right thing. Even if we don't tell them, they will find out. If you don't tell Sally and Jimmy that you took the money, I will report you to them. In this episode, Jimmy struggles with making ethical decision on whether or not to fire an individual due to noticing that something went wrong under Sally's management. An ethical decision is a decision made about a situation where there is no right or wrong answer. Jimmy's perception of the situation affects how he will make the decision of firing Mike, yet keeping Sally around as a manager. Jimmy's perception is based on his ethics, or what he sees as right or wrong. He understands that Sally can reflect from the situation that arose under her supervision and build on it for stronger management skills such as strengthening her communication, control, and structure with the team. Jimmy removed Mike from the business due to his unawareness of how unethical his decisions were including the decision Mike made on getting the money back. Mike could not change his perception and understanding of the situation after talking to Jimmy. On the other hand, Nicole made the correct ethical decision by stepping up in times of hardship and doing what she thought was right for the company's sake. She proved that she carries great management skills such as integrity and how to deal with conflict when it is presented before her. Mike, I don't understand why you would do something like this, but the ethical decision-making process that you made was the incorrect one. You have lost the trust of not only myself, but the others in the store. I promise, I will get your money back. I feel that your plan to make the money back is about as ethically wrong as your decision to take it. For these reasons I need to let you go. Sally, this happened on your watch, and cannot happen again. Over the next couple of weeks, you and I will work together to strengthen your very relaxed managerial skills. Management is present in everything we do every day. We can all have different jobs, but in every job, there is some sort of management that keeps the business running. If there is no management present, there wouldn't be any type of formation that keeps things going. If you haven't realized yet, we also manage our own lives. Throughout this project, we realized that management is not just made up of one person, but of many people who work together to get things done. While doing this project, we kind of formed our own management team. Someone would look over everyone's work. Another person would point out things that could be fixed. Another person would give out ideas and we all had our own sort of safe positions within the project. Once we all had our jobs done, we would then piece it together and form our project objectives of that week. We know being a manager comes with four basic responsibilities, which are planning, organizing, directing, and controlling. We have learned now that it is much more than that. It also consists of dealing with day-to-day -day issues that could be with employees and even with customers. As we are doing this project, we realize how important it is for Sally to have strong ethical decision-making skills. When one is a manager, having those type of skills is very important. Throughout our series, Sally stumbles into situations in which she must decide what to do. Not only her character goes through ethical decision making, but also other characters like Nicole, Mike, and Jimmy. It comes to show that everyone in the management team deals with ethical dilemmas at some point throughout their career. Management has no color or certainty. It can come within a multitude of environments and demographics. As depicted in the chart, you can notice the variety of importance within management. As a whole, Team A-Stars is beyond satisfied with the work that has been put forth by six hardworking individuals. It put us at all to be able to tackle such a different but creative style of learning and applying that towards core concepts that we can use within our careers or even in just updating our perception on certain situations that may arise. We thank our professor for molding us into people who can think outside the box when comparing to your usual type of classes and learning styles. Now following, the group would like to share with you our own personal reflections and experience that we received from the project via text. Thank you in advance for taking the time to read it.
During the creation of our TV show, we learned many things that could benefit future students. The first is to figure out how to manage your time efficiently. Many pieces of the project will require a lot of time, so it is important that you manage your time well to get the task done. The second is to start communicating with your group early and continue talking to them frequently. The earlier you communicate with your group, the better. It is important to continue to talk to them frequently so that you're all on the same page about what needs to be done each week. Communication is key in any group because it is how individuals communicate problems and ideas. Next is writing out the scripts before filming the actual episodes. This was beneficial for our group because it gave us a chance to all agree on the script and make edits before we got into filming. Another recommendation that we have is to stick to the charter, to stick to the charter as well as trying to complete the milestones and videos sooner than later. The charter was extremely helpful when it came to making an agreement upon our group and is the foundation of our project. However, the most important recommendation we would give future students is to have fun. This project is supposed to help you learn the concepts while also being creative. Express your creativity and enjoy the ride.